just three days, thousands of people will be in downtown Atlanta calling for stricter gun laws. The student-led March for Our Lives rallies are in direct response to the recent school shooting in Parkland, Florida. 17 people were killed. The protests will take place during an incredibly busy weekend for our city as college basketball fans are here for the NCAA tournament. So what will security be like? Joe Hankey talked to APD's deputy chiefs about their safety plan that they plan to put in place for Saturday. Well, Jeff and Cheryl, this is where the largest of four rallies on Saturday in the Atlanta area will begin outside the Center for Civil and Human Rights. It will be during the middle of a very busy weekend in downtown, but Atlanta police officers will be there the entire time to hopefully keep everyone safe. Downtown Atlanta is no stranger to marches, protests and rallies. Atlanta Police Deputy Chief Scott Carrera has been there for many of them during 26 years with the department. Past events helped Carrera and other APD supervisors plan for this weekend. We combine those experiences and we put plans together based on those experiences. Crayer was there for the Black Lives Matter led protests against police brutality in July of 2016 in downtown. On one single evening, more than 10,000 people gathered, and over the next several nights, thousands more marched. APD officers stood by each night, stepping in at times to arrest a handful of protesters. And one year ago, an estimated 60,000 people gathered for Atlanta's March for Social Justice in Women. I'm here because we need equality, because we deserve the same rights as everyone else. Marchers came together, listened to speakers, followed a specific route, and then went home without any problems or arrests. This weekend's march is designed to follow the women's march. Well, the good thing is we've had uh, many conversations with the organizers, so we're both on the same page about what we want to have. They want to have a peaceful march. Uh, with with no problems and we want to be able to support that for safety reasons Atlanta police helped develop the marches one and a half mile route from the Center for Civil and Human Rights to the state capitol building APD officers will be there along the route and have been put on 12 hour shifts the department though is not anticipating any problems at this time because March organizers have made every effort to plan a peaceful demonstration now they have uh, specific plans they want to go to Liberty Plaza and uh, have their speakers speak at Liberty Plaza after the march, kind of like the women's march, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they'll go home from there. And I talked by phone today with a couple of the organizers for the march that will begin here outside the Civil Rights Center. They told me that they have been talking directly with Atlanta police, that they want their march to be as well organized and peaceful as last year's Women's March here in downtown. Coming up at 6, I'll let you know about the other events in downtown this weekend that could impact the march and also what Atlanta police are doing to prepare for any counter protests that might pop up. Cheryl. All right, and if the walk out of school is any indication, we will see a lot of young people involved this weekend as well. Joe Henke reporting, thank you.